Which type of operating system is developed and designed to work exclusively on Apple hardware? Is it A, Windows? Is it B, Linux? Is it C, Mac OS? Or is it D, Android? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, Mac OS. Mac OS is Apple's proprietary operating system designed for their hardware. Mac OS is open, optimized to run on Apple devices, offering a seamless user experience. Consider Mac OS as a tailored suit. It's made specifically for Apple's hardware. Windows is developed by Microsoft, not Apple. Linux is an open source operating system that can run on various hardware. And Android is a mobile operating system designed and developed by Google and related to Apple's Mac OS. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, which security measure involves verifying a user's identity through multiple factors such as something they know, have, and are? Is it A, firewall? Is it B, encryption? Is it C, two-factor authentication? Or is it D, intrusion detection system? And I have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, two-factor authentication, or 2FA. 2FA requires users to provide two different types of identification. 2FA enhances security by adding an extra layer of verification beyond a password. Imagine 2FA like accessing a vault. You need both a key and a fingerprint. Firewall. A firewall is a network security measure, not an identity verification method. Encryption protects data, but it's not directly related to identity verification. An intrusion detection system monitors for suspicious activities, but doesn't verify user identity. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, what is a term for malicious software that disguises itself as a legitimate software, often tricking users into installing it? Is it A, firewall? Is it B, phishing? Is it C, ransomware? Or is it D, malware? And I have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, malware. Malware encompasses various malicious software types, including those that disguise as legitimate. Malware includes viruses, worms, trojans, and more, aiming to harm systems or steal data. Think of malware like a hidden spy. It pretends to be harmless but causes damage. A firewall is a security measure, not malware itself. Phishing involves tricking users through social engineering, not disguising software. And ransomware encrypts data and demands payments, but it's not the only type of malware. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, which software troubleshooting method involves running an application in a compatibility mode to resolve compatibility issues with an older operating system? Is it A, safe boot? Is it B, clean boot? Is it C, system restore? Or is it D, compatibility mode? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, compatibility mode. Compatibility mode allows older software to run on newer operating system versions. Compatibility mode adjusts settings to simulate an older OS environment. Think of compatibility mode as a language translator. It helps software understand the new OS. And now for the incorrect answers. Safe mode starts the operating system with minimal drivers, not for compatibility. Clean boot disables non-essential services, not related to compatibility. And system restore reverts to previous operating system state, not for compatibility. And for the next question of our exam, question number five. And the question states, what software tool helps manage and organize the installation, updating and removal of applications of an operating system? Is it A, control panel? Is it D, device manager? Is it C, task manager? Or is it D, package manager? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, package manager. A package manager handles software installation and management. Package managers simplify software installation, updates, and removal. Manage my package manager like a personal assistant. It takes care of software tasks for you. And now for the incorrect answers. Control panel manages system settings, not software installation. Device managers handles hardware, not software packages. And task managers monitor running processes, not software management. And for the next question of our exam, question number six. And the question states, what is the process of converting plain text into unreadable characters to prevent unauthorized access? Is it A, firewall? Is it B, encryption? Is it C, authentication? Or is it D, intrusion detection? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, 
encryption. Encryption converts data into coded form to secure it. Encryption ensures that even if data is intercepted, it remains unreadable. Think of a encryption like a secret code. Only those with a key can decipher it. And for the incorrect answer, a firewall is a network security measure, not data protection. Authentication verifies user identity, but it doesn't convert data. And intrusion detection monitors for unauthorized access, but doesn't convert data. And for the next question of our exam, question number seven. And the question states, what is the term for a scheduled process that copies data from a computer to a backup storage device? Is it A, phishing? Is it B, malware? Is it C, backup? Or is it D, recovery? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, backup. Backup involves copying data for safekeeping. Backups ensure that data can be restored in case of data loss or disaster. Think of backup like insurance. You have a copy of your data in case of emergencies. And now for the incorrect answers. Phishing is a subtype of cyber attack unrelated to data copying. Malware is a malicious software, not a data protection process. And recovery involves restoring data after a loss, not the copying process. And for the next question of our exam, question number eight. And the question states, what is the term for a technology that allows multiple virtual operating systems to run on a single physical machine? Is it A, virtualization? Is it B, encryption? Is it C, emulation? Or is it D, segmentation? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, virtualization. Virtualization enables multiple virtual operating system instances on a single physical machine. Virtualization optimizes resource utilization and allows isolation of environments. Imagine virtualization like apartments in a building, separate living spaces within one structure. And for the incorrect answers, encryption secures data, not for running virtual operating systems. Emulation mimics one system on another, not necessarily for multiple instances. And segmentation divides networks for security purposes, not for virtualization. And for the next question of our exam, question number nine. And the question states, what operational procedure involves a detailed step-by-step -step guide to perform a specific task? Is it A, incident response plan? Is it B, troubleshooting flowchart? Is it C, knowledge base? Or is it D, change management? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, troubleshooting flowcharts. A flowchart provides a visual guide for troubleshooting steps. Flowcharts simplify complex tasks by breaking them into clear steps. Think of a flowchart like a recipe. It guides you through each step of the process. And now for the incorrect answers. An incident response plan outlines actions during security incidents. A knowledge base is a repository of information, not a procedural guide. And change management oversees changes in a system, not a procedural guide. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what operational procedures involves ensuring a system, security settings, software, and configurations are up to date? Is it A, system restore? Is it B, patch management? Is it C, incident response? Or is it D, clean boot? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, patch management. Patch management keeps system up to date with the latest security fixes. Patching reduces vulnerabilities by addressing known security flaws. Think of patch management like regular health checkups, keeping systems healthy and secure. And for the incorrect answers, system restore reverts to a previous state, not for updating. Incident response deals with security incidents, not updates. And, and clean boot disabled non-essential services unrelated to updates. And for a more comprehensive list of exams, you can check my Udemy Instructor channel where I have posted a number of exams for the CompTIA tests. The tests consist of 90 questions each and they are very similar to the official CompTIA exam. The link to my Udemy channel is presented down in the channel's description. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace!